Double Chaos. <laughs> and Double Danny. I'm Danny. No, what? I'm Danny. All new Danny's House before school at 8 and after school at 5.45. All this week on CBBC Channel. How I've missed our favourite Earth TV show. <laughs> <laughs> The game show where copying is good. Well, as long as you're good at copying, mate. You've got to be good at copying. You've got to be good at copying because the aim of the game is for our families to claim as many points as they possibly can because only one family today can go home with a very special secret copycat's prize. <laughs> it's that me. Yeah. <laughs> Audience, show me the families. Yeah. All right. All right. First off, we've got Albie's family from Bristol. We've also got Stephen's family from Happy? How's Mickey? Guys, welcome to the show. Absolutely. Now, Albie, you're the head of your family. Introduce the rest of the gang, please. I've got my friend Ellis from school, and she loves to dance. I've got my sister Bailey, and she can do a backwards dive. I've got my mum, Michelle, who failed her driving test five times. I've got my auntie Mandy, and she's married to a Shrek lookalike. <laughs> I've got my dad, Justin, who loves the karaoke. Oh, fantastic. Well, good luck, Albie. It's great to have you on the show. Okay, nice one. right, over here. Stephen, you're the head of your family. Introduce your team, please. Well, this is my silly sister, Alicia. <laughs> and this is my funny friend, Sophie, and she loves gymnastics. This is my dodgy dad, Dave. <laughs> 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 this is my uncle, Ian, and he runs a children's drama school. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and this is my marvellous mum, and she's super creative. Excellent. <laughs> OK, all right. Well, guys, welcome to the show. It's lovely to have you all here. Yeah, really it nice. is. It's really nice. Now, Albie, you won the toss that we did before the show. Now, do you want to go first or second? Second. That means that Stephen's family, you are going first. Let's play Copycats! <laughs> Welcome to Mime Time. Now, David, I have three actions in my hand. You are going to pick one action. You'll then have ten seconds to mime that action for the person next to you, which is Selfie, then okay. Rose, and then so on and so on down the line. You any good at acting, mate? No. 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 <laughs> OK, well, close the doors! <laughs> <laughs> All right, matey, you red, blue or silver? Any good? All right. Your ten seconds start now. Open the doors. Watching Stephen. Wanted it to end, yeah. but it did, unfortunately. Wow. <laughs> okay, for the maximum of 50 points, any idea what Ian was doing there? Hot scotch. It's not what we've got on the card, unfortunately. Okay, let's open the doors for 40 points. Ian, any idea what Stephen was doing there? The Highland Fling. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what we're looking for, mate, unfortunately. Oh. Okay, 30 points. Stephen, any idea what Rose was doing? Skipping? Oh, it's good guesses, mm. but it's not what we've got on the card. <laughs> OK, 20 points. Rose, I any idea what's so Skipping as well, so... Mm. Yeah. Go on, I'll give you another guess, then. Hopping? No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a build up the tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. All right, finally, for 10 points, Sophie, any idea what David was doing? Is it kicky ups? Yes, it yeah! was! Yay! Well done! Well done! <laughs> 
<laughs> Ian, I want to play football with you, mate. <laughs> that was brilliant. He was like, oh, flicks. It's like watching Ronaldo play. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. You get yourselves ten points. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, how's your acting? OK, I hope. Well, good luck to you. Close the doors! <laughs> OK, here we go. Silver or blue? Silver. Silver. Take Some a diamond. good look. Nice one. All right, the best of luck. You've got ten seconds, starting from now. <laughs> Bailey's laughing. She knows it. Nodding away. All right, Bailey, your turn. Go for it. Yeah. It's good. All right, OK, just do nothing. <laughs> All right, Alex, your turn. I like this one. It's good. <laughs> nice ending, nice ending. Yeah! I like it. Pretty good, pretty good copying down the line there. I'll be for 50 points. Any idea what Amanda was miming there? Dancing. Oh, it wasn't no. dancing. OK, we're playing for 40 points. Amanda, any idea what Ellis was miming there? DJ in. It was! Yeah. Yeah. Nice work. Okay, well done. You get yourself. Got just in the Formula One bath driver. Okay. Good. That's two. We got two. Great start, guys. Come on, keep it up. Oh yeah, nice. I like it. Okay. Nice work. Beauty. Making it look easy. Three more, guys. Okay. Come on. You <laughs> seem to have a bit of uh, toilet paper, but oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! That's so good! Nice work, guys. Two more. <laughs> Making it look easy. You're doing very, very well. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's nearly in the, sc she's in the scoring zone. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah! You need one more, guys, then you've got the 50 points. You've got one minute left. <laughs> you've got plenty of opportunity time for you. Oh! Oh! oh OK. Go, go, go! You need to get one more, guys. Come on. 
45 seconds left. 45 seconds. Well hit me head on the lid. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Albus family. You get yourself the full 50 points. Yeah! All right, brilliant. That means that Stephen's family are on 10 points. We're in the lead with 90 points. It's Albus family. <laughs> this next round is called Quick on the Draw. <laughs> yeah! All right, Rose, I've got three cards in my hand. I'm going to get you to pick one of these cards. You'll then have ten seconds to draw whatever is on that card. <laughs> the person next to you, which is Sophie, and so on and so on. OK, <laughs> good luck to you guys. Close the doors! <laughs> All right, Rose, silver, blue or red? OK, have a good look at that. Reckon you can draw that? Yep. All right, nice one. You've got ten seconds, starting from now. <laughs> David Johnson. <laughs> All right. Right, Ian, your turn. Go for it. <laughs> oh, it got whacked in the arm by the door. It's a vicious show as well, this see. <laughs> OK, all right. All right. <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> for a maximum of 50 <laughs> points, any idea what Ian has drawn there? Sunset? That is what it looks like, but that's not the answer we're looking for. What is it? What is it? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're playing for 40 points. Ian, oh, any this... idea what this series is there? Well, that's what I thought it was, so shall we go for Sunrise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> clever, <laughs> clever. I like that. It's not. OK, we're playing for 30 points. Alicia, any idea what David's drawn? <laughs> is it meant to be a shark? It's not a shark. All right, we're playing for 20 <laughs> points. David, any idea what Sophie's drawn? A lighthouse. Yeah! <laughs> All right, Amanda, we're going to beat 20 points. You're going to get the full 50 for your team? 50 we're going for. OK, good luck, guys. I'm going to do this in a uh, dance way. I like dancing. All Ready? Right. Close the doors! <laughs> Silver or blue, Amanda? Ah, uh, silver. Please. Oh, all right. Have a look at that. Okay. Well, good luck to you, Thank Amanda. You. Your ten seconds start now. Open the doors. Good. Use all your ten seconds. Tricky one, this one. End of another spectacular round, we think. Ellis, with the full 50 points, Ooh. what has Justin drawn there? A watering can. It's not what we've got on the card, unfortunately. <laughs> OK, let's open the doors for 40 points. Justin, mate? Handbag. <laughs> it's, not an, it's not an handbag, mate. OK, 30 points, let's open the doors. Bailey, any idea what Michelle has drawn there? Is it a robot? It is not a robot. <laughs> 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 OK, let's open the doors for 20 points. Michelle, any idea what Albie's drawn there? 
sort of a house. A sort of a house. A sort of a house. <laughs> it's not what I've got on my card. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. OK, for ten points, any idea what Amanda's drawn out? A help? kettle. It's a kettle! I've got to say, Bailey, I'm with you there. I thought it was a Dalek at first. Yeah. <laughs> well done, though, Albie. You get yourself ten points. Yes! <laughs> All right, OK. Stephen's family, it is now your turn to play the next game. All right, you are about to play Bigfoot Bangers. To Bigfoot Bangers. Now, this game requires immense teamwork. It's pretty simple. All our families have to do is burst all these balloons here, but using only their big giant feet. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah. 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 Now, 50 points are up for grabs if you can burst all of the balloons within the time limit. However, if you fail to do so, 25 points will go to Albie's family. For doing absolutely yeah. Excellent. Okay, guys, are you ready? In three, two, one, get banging! <laughs> Stephen's family have moved to 80 points, but slightly in the lead with 100. It's Albie's family! Go <laughs> <Roper. laughs> Welcome to the music round. Now, Justin, I'm going to get you to pick a popular tune. <laughs> you will then recreate that tune using this highly sophisticated instrument. <laughs> Not the swanny whistle! Yeah! No, that. Not that. I wish Sorry. it was that, though. It's much funnier. <laughs> OK, any good on the old kazoo? Yeah, I'm... Stab hand. Stab hand. Stab hand. Excellent. Now, could everybody except <laughs> Justin please put on your headphones so you don't hear the song that's been selected? They're all on. Close the doors! <laughs> all right, Justin, mate. Blue. Blue. Take a good look. You think you know that tune? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? OK, well, we'll play it into the studio anyway, just in case. Let's hear it. OK, right, the best of luck, Justin. You've got ten seconds, starting from now. <laughs> OK, Alice, it's your turn. Go for it. <laughs> All right, Amanda, go for it. Wow, not a lot to go on, Albie. <laughs> wow, good luck. <laughs> go for it, Michelle. For you for 50 points, any idea what Michelle was playing? Is it we're off to see the wizard, the one of the Wizard of Oz? It's not, sadly. Okay, we're playing for 40 points. Michelle, any idea what Albie was playing there? Something from the Lion King? 
it wasn't something from the Lion King. Okay, we're playing for 30 points. Albie, any idea what Amanda was playing there? Royal Britannia. <laughs> Rule Britannia, did you say? Yeah. It wasn't that. Oh, oh, very okay. patriotic, though. I like it. Okay, we're playing for 20 points. Amanda, any idea what Ellis was playing there? Was it something for, like, match of the day? It wasn't. Oh, this is a tough one, though, I must admit. Okay, finally for 10 points. Ellis, any idea what Justin was playing? Justin did a pretty good job, actually. Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Pop Goes the Weasel. Justin, tell everybody what it was. The Adams Family. Go Let's hear it. Was. <laughs> do, do. Sadly, that means you get no points. Oh. Let's see how Stephen's family do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian, how is your musical ability? Oh, fantastic. OK, could everybody <laughs> except Ian please put your headphones on? <laughs> OK, guys, Ian, the best of luck. <laughs> Close <you>. the doors! <laughs> Silver or red, mate? Red. Red. Have a look at that. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, don't worry if you don't know it. Which, but look at your face. You don't. <laughs> Let's play it into the studio. Okay. Ian. Your ten seconds. Good luck to you, mate. Start now. Open the doors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, open the doors. <laughs> For the full 50 points, any idea what Rose is playing there? Harry Potter. Harry Potter is not what we're looking for, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Open the doors for 40 points, you're right then, dude. <laughs> any idea what you see was playing there? Happy birthday. It's not. Happy birthday, okay, so open the doors. Any idea what David was playing for 30 points? EastEnders. <laughs> No, it's not EastEnders. OK, it's off on the door for 20 points. David, any idea what Stephen was playing there? Well, it sounded like Home on the Range to me. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not what I've got on my card. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got to take your first answer, unfortunately. OK, all right, open the door. Stephen, any idea what Ian was playing there? It's a girl band and... Come and say, make me, make me love you. I don't know what it's called. Oh, oh, wait, I, keep singing. You've got to get to it. Promise me, promise me. That's it. Pro promising, promising. Yeah! We're going to give you that. We're going to give you that. <laughs> <laughs> The song is obviously promised by Girls Aloud, so we've got to give you that. Yeah, you know? well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Ten points. Yeah. Yes. OK, that means Stephen's family are catching up with 90 points, but still in the lead by the slightest of margins with 100 points. It's Albie's family. OK. <laughs> now, it is still all to play for as we now go into our final game, Hamster Ball Havoc. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hamster Ball Havoc. This is the big decider, and it is a decider, it because is. there is only ten points between our families. Whichever family has the most points at the end of this game will go home with today's copycat prize, everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Now, this is how this game works. Our families will try and get round this obstacle course as quickly as they possibly can. However, Every time they knock over one of these balls, 25 points gets deducted from their final score. Mm, now, the first family to cross this finish line will win themselves 100 points. So, oh, what, now? so what now? 100 points, No Mark. way. Yes, way. Now, we've got <laughs> Stephen's family in the orange hamster balls and we've got Albie's family in the purple hamster balls. Here we go. In three, 
two, one, go! So the team captains have put their doubts on the first lap, so it's David for oranges and Justin for purples. Wow, look at Justin go! Great technique, he looks like a real hamster. And there's about to be an almighty bang! No one giving much there, but at least they're both stay on their feet. Justin flies into the studio and David doing the best to hang in there. Here comes David, but it's going to be Justin all the way, and he goes clear. That's got to be some kind of record. Off goes Bailey, and David finishes his lap and sets off team captain Stephen. <laughs> Bailey heads out of the studio with a good lead over Stephen. Here comes Stephen. Bailey avoids a collision. This is theirs to throw away. So Bailey completing her lap and just the pillar to get round cleanly. So far, so oh no, and that's 25 points away. But it's Bailey who crosses the line first and she hands over to team captain Albi. Stephen completing his lap. Albi clear so far and oh! That's bad news for Stephen, a bull gun, and Albi sneaks up inside. Stephen crosses the line and leaves it to Uncle Ian to try and claw back the purple team's lead on the final lap. Albi finishing the back straight and Ian's on his way out of the studio. True, Ian doing his best, but I don't think it's going to be enough unless Albi falls. Here she comes, just the pillars between her and victory. She crosses the line. Ian finishing his lap. Can he go clear? No, that's a ball down for the Oranges and 25 points away. Sometimes this game is cruel. OK, right, Stephen's family. Unfortunately, you guys came second in that race, so you don't get the 100 points and you did knock over two of the balls. So we have to take away 50 points from your final <laughs> score. So Stephen's family's final score of the day is 40 points! Yay! Hold well guys. OK, now, Albie's family, you won that race, so you get 100 points, but you did knock down one of the balls, so we need to take away 25 points from your overall score. So. Albie's family's final score is a very good one, 175. Well done. Well done, well done, guys. Let's take a look at what you've won. Try to lasso a moo, ride a horse like in the Wild West, or just spin around and do silly stuff on this fantastic Cowboy Day Adventure Prize. Yeah. Hey. Ah, that's brilliant. Yeah. Have a good time. Have a nice one. <laughs> You're never going to believe this, what? everybody. It's the end of the show. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad, I know. <laughs> Stephen's family say goodbye. Bye! Albie's family say goodbye. Bye! Join us next time on Copycats! about the environment and the polar bears and everything in the attic because the ice caps are melting and then we will be upset because I live on the coast and if I live on the coast <clears throat> then it will be very bad because all the water will come up and come to us <clears throat> and flood us and it will be very bad. I hope that doesn't happen and I hope all the animals in the Arctic and the Antarctic live ha happy long life and it'll be very nice to stop the global warming. So stop eating your cars and your buses. Share your stories, thoughts and feelings. Go to the CBBC website and click on Pugbears. People watching the television. Do you see Sean the Sheep there? Well, if you just turned over from CBC on BBC One, you're probably watching him. Hey, hey. And you can watch all new Sean the Sheep again, 4.20, on the same channel tomorrow. Yeah, Don't hey. miss that. <whistles> uh, I'd also like to apologise for this. Outro's wearing a cravat, like... 
Oh, Victorian men did in olden days. Huh? Oh, I don't think it is dignified. I'm going to do one last day. Oh, you got one for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, right, this is for me, is it? Oh, right, so, no, that's quite nice of you. I'll, I'll put it somewhere safe for later. OK, that is lovers. All the cacti are wearing them. Mm. Oh, right, really? Mm. Like who? Oh, yeah, no, no, that's not me. It's on here, isn't mm. it? Oh, your Uncle Frank. Ah, uh, Uncle Frank. Now, I must admit, that does kind of suit him. I thought he would have gone for a ginger one, though. He likes his ginger, doesn't he? Ah, viva boom, das. Oh, viva boom, the wedding planner. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, yeah, all right, I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah, he looks pretty good. Oh, for my lutty. Uh, I, I'm not sure it suits women. Huh? Yes, but I, I, I think it suits cacti men, mm -hmm. but, but but maybe not human men. Or women. Uh, it would suit a Christmas man. Me. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, day. oh no. Oh, day. oh come on, let's not Kiki do this again. Oh. Uh, every Christmas you want to do this, don't you? Can we not just have a normal Christmas? Uh, no. Right. Every year, Alto likes to have a.